froggy friends. Today we are going to build a tadpole enclosure because my good friend Allie brought me some tadpoles from a little pond that she visited. Here they are in my little mason jar. I made them a special tadpole recipe where you boil some lettuce and freeze it and drop it in and they love it. They're very happy with it, but I'm going to make them a nice big tadpole enclosure so they can grow into frogs and we can watch them. So right now they're swimming around in their little jar. They seem very happy, but we're going to take a walk to the creek and see if we can find some things to add to a little enclosure for them. We'll put rocks and sticks and leaves and pond water, all the things that tadpoles love to have in their little home. So come on an adventure with me. Here we go. Hey froggy friends, so here we are. We're at the creek. Took another little walk down to our creek and we're going to see what we can find to put into our little tadpole enclosure. I see lots of great things that we can add to make our little tadpoles very happy and comfortable until they transform into frogs. So I'm going to get out my little bag. I brought scoops and containers and baggies and lots of things to collect some nature to add to their tadpole enclosure. So come along. Here we go. Okay, friends, so here I've got my containers and scoops and baggies, and we're gonna start with some pond water. Gonna need some pond water to put into their little enclosure. I have some, but we're gonna need a little extra. So I'm just gonna scoop it up, pour it in. Save some of that good pond water for our tadpoles. They're going to love it. Fresh and cool pond water. Perfect for tadpoles. Okay. And in there, I also am going to put some leaves and some dirt called silt kind of this mucky yucky mud at the bottom they love that that's what they like to kind of dig in, into and burrow into and hide in and it's got some some green algae the algae is actually what they eat they like to eat algae algae is a type of plant that grows in ponds and it has lots of nutrients, vitamins and minerals, and all the food that they like to eat, that they need to help them grow into frogs. It's a little scummy, but that's the way they like it. So let's scoop some up here. Get all that good dirt from the bottom of the pond. Look what I found. Oh my goodness. I just scooped up a tadpole. How do you like that? Maybe he wants to come home and join us. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, that was fun. Didn't expect that to happen. We have our very own little tadpole right there. How funny. Now we have a new friend to add to the friends that we already have. I didn't know there was tadpoles in there. They were hiding. See, he was right down in there, right in that good stuff. <laughs> All right. I think there's a couple more tadpoles in that scoop too. Oh dear. We're gonna have lots of frogs. And what we're gonna do is we're going to keep an eye on them and help them grow into frogs and then we'll bring them back down to the pond and we'll let them go. We don't want them to be sad. 
them to be happy little tadpoles. So we will make sure that we put them right back in their natural home where they can live ha like happy little frogs. And maybe if I find out how to take really good care of them, maybe we'll keep one for our classroom, one grown up froggy, if I can find out how to take care of them very well to keep them happy and healthy. But otherwise, we'll just release them back into the pond so they can grow up and have more little tadpoles. So I'm gonna turn this off and gather some more things and I'll let you know what I find. See you soon. Okay, friends, so I have collected more pond water and some of the dirt and silt and dead leaves and algae, moss, all of these things, some more water. There's actually some more tadpoles in there as well. So we're gonna have a couple extra friends, which is fun. Uh, and I got some of the plants that they have in their enclosure here. So we're gonna bag them all up and bring them back and some of the sand too. I'm gonna bag them all up and bring them back to my house and we'll work on building our enclosure. See you in a little bit. Bye bye. Okay friends, I'm all packed up and ready to go. I've got my bag full of things to put into the tadpole enclosure and I'm gonna head back. It's a bit of a long walk. So I'm gonna go um, walking and head back to my house and then I'll let you know when it's time to set up the tadpole enclosure. I'm so excited. I hope you are too. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hey froggy friends. So I'm back at my house and I have brought all of the things that we're going to need to build our tadpole frog enclosure. I've got an aquarium. I've got our pond water and dirt and rocks and plants and all the things that we'll need. So I'm going to set this camera down so you can watch as I build it. Here we go. First we'll put the mucky muck. All the dirt at the bottom. Oh, that's some good dirt right there. Nice and muddy and it's got all the scum in it that <laughs> frogs and tadpoles love. I'm just going to spread that around. Okay, so I've got the dirt and the sand and the plants ready, the rocks and the little pond. We need some big rocks for them to climb up on after they grow their legs and they want to get out of the water. First they have to swim around and get bigger and grow some legs and then their tail, remember their tail will start to disappear as their legs start to grow. And then they'll be able to hop up out of the water after they grow some lungs and breathe the air. And then they'll be ready to go back to the pond. So I'm going to pour this bag of pond water and tadpoles into our enclosure in this little bucket. And then I will let you see how it looks. See you in a bit. Okay, friends, I've got it almost all set up but I'm going to wait until the dirt settles to the bottom. Because right now it's a little cloudy because there's some dirt swimming around in there. But some of the tadpoles would be very, very happy in there. But I haven't added my little jar of happy little tadpoles from Allie yet. They're still in their little jar, hanging out. Pretty soon, when this clears up a bit, I'm going to add them to our new little tadpole enclosure. As you can see, that little guy right there is pretty happy. We've got plants and rocks and dirt and pond water, sticks, sand, all, all the things that tadpoles and frogs love. So just going to let that sit for a while and then come back and add 
the other little tadpoles. All right, we'll see you soon. So friends, I have something very exciting to tell you. As I was looking at our cool little tadpoles in our new enclosure and checking them out and waiting until it was a good time to add our other tadpoles, I noticed that they look pretty different. So I caught one of each and I put them over here, these little cups, so you can see how different they look. So I realized that we have two different types of frogs or maybe even a toad. This one is kind of almost clear with spots. And this one is definitely not clear with spots. He's black. He's very fast. He moves around a lot more than the other one. So these guys, I'm doing some research to find out, are they frogs? Are they toads? What type are they? So I'm going to do some more research and find out a little bit more about them. I think I'm on the right path, on the right trail to find out exactly what kind they are. And then I think what we're going to have to do is we need two separate enclosures. One for these little guys, our spotted friends, and one for these little guys. So we're going to have two different types of frogs or toads. I don't know, but we will soon find out. <laughs> Isn't that exciting news? All right, friends. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.